it's 7 p.m. and we will start um, with our webinar, with our introductory webinar. Um, I hope you had splendid summer and you are awaiting new challenges in September, October, and November with Proofman and on your in your private and business life. Uh, we will be sharing our time and our expertise and our uh, innovative uh, communication strategies uh, during three weeks. You will be spending first two weeks with me and the third week you will be spend, spending with my colleague, Elena. Uh, she will have another uh, webinar in the third week, so she will explain everything in detail then. Today, it's uh, actually an introduction. Just a second, I see I have a comment. Hi, hi. Um, so if you have something to comment or to ask, just write in your, your, in your left um, chat box where it says type message here, and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Uh, so, okay. Um, I'm, I was back from, my, from our holiday on Friday, so I'm quite, um, I'm not used to this, um, uh, to this hectic uh, yet, and I'm still a bit uh, in the spirit and the mood of a holiday, um, perhaps uh, sounding a little bit in, in a very hype mood. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, etc., do not hesitate, uh, put them just in the box, in the chat box, and don't uh, don't wait for another week or so to ask uh, on details. You have we, some with some of you. I have already met in uh, in Ohrid in July, and with some we are uh, together for the first time. I hope you will enjoy this travel and trip, uh, this journey as much as I will, because I know that. Um, you will um, upgrade my expectations and you will leave them to the fullest. And I really look forward to your uh, assignments, your works. And uh, of course, I look forward to your question as well, because if people have questions, then you know they're interested. If there is no question, you know, there is neither, either there is no interest or um, you were so the, the lecture was so boring that nobody even had the possibility to attend until the end. With some of you, um, we have already communicated um, in August or in the beginning of September because you had some additional questions or requests. And if you are in some kind of uh, time pressure, please let me know. We can, of course, arrange um, a different kind of um, doing your homeworks or your assignments, but this should be rather than an, an exemption, not a rule. Okay, so let's start. Today, we will have, in these two weeks, we will have three webinars. This first is really more about what I expect from you, how everything will be conducted. You will, of course, have the tutor, Mina Mazuzi. You have met her in previous lectures, previous courses. And I know that she is a great uh, tutor. She is also a very good uh, person with high level of energy. And you will get your answers as soon as possible and very soon. I know that she replies within minutes or hours. So within these two weeks, we will see each other uh, two, two more times. The first webinar will be, OK, I will tell that a bit, a bit later. What, what is actually expected of you, it's expect, I would like, we would like with Jelena and Mina and my other two webinar hosts, uh, Ms. Jose Morales and uh, Ms. Uh, Alexandra Lobnik, we would really like to con convey to you the message how to empower yourself in order to empower your co-workers, your employees, your subordinates or your bosses. Uh, how this is done, how this will be done, I will explain a bit later. But um, the, co the course will de develop your basic business instincts. We can call them creative or basic because creative is also part of the basis what um, a good manager, a good leader, or a good employee, or a good uh, professor, or a good co-worker, a good husband, good, good wife should actually develop uh, at herself or himself. So we will develop a basic understanding of strategic management, uh, this time with emphasis on entrepreneurship. 
built on innovation, uh, sustainability, and globalization, because you come from all over the, the Europe, so it's you see that you can do business only in your country, but it's more successful if you go abroad. Then we will incorporate the role of the critical uh, thinking within and the importance of business communication. This is the third week in the business world. Uh, my objective for you is to empower leaders, future uh, entrepreneurs or managers, you, uh, with tools to innovatively and creatively cope with global business and talent challenges. You might have uh, seen the report um, that several different research agencies and research facilities actually published not, not uh, so recently ago, that uh, by the year 2020, uh, approximately 8 million of um, employees will be missed because they will not have the required knowledge and not the required competences, not required skills. So it is very important to not only to sit and relax and wait for, for job to happen to you or business or whatever you do in your life, but to be proactive, to do the job, to, um, to like you yourself, uh, be involved in um, education all the time because things change so fast. In the first week, we will, of course, talk about creativity, innovation, and sustainability. Uh, but you will be able, after this first week, to analyze the relationship between these three, let's say, items or um, different aspects of uh, leadership. Then you will develop, it after the um, second webinar that we will have with Jose Antonio Morales, you will develop a business canvas for his concept, Fail and Fear. And then uh, you already have had the opportunity to learn about the business canvas model. So we we'll only upgrade this knowledge and prepare a certain um, aspect of uh, fair and field concept uh, as an individual assignment. And then you will have the possibility to identify the challenges, uh, challenges of modern of, or temporary, contemporary entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, of course, I expect of you that you read through the literature. Which literature? Uh, let's, let's just see once again. The literature for, weeks, uh, for weeks, week one is, uh, of course, also written in your, uh, on your platform, on your web platform. But let's fly through this. It's only three uh, books. It's not all chapters. It's selected chapters, selected pages. And you have some additional videos for those who really want more, who want to learn more about uh, innovation, about entrepreneurship, about creativity. And uh, the videos are entitled as How to be an Entrepreneur. Then there is this uh, open educational resource platform that I and uh, Vanya Lombard, she was my host speaker in this uh, video, prepared. It's also in your uh, on your uh, web platform. Then we have a short video on 15 characteristics of effective entrepreneurs and um, something more about DNAs of innovator. Um, perhaps you have heard that a few years ago there was a motion, there was this perception that only that you are born uh, being an innovator, that you are born being a person who can find something new, a new solution. That's not true anymore. You can learn how to be innovative. Perhaps you will not patent it, but you will create new solutions to already known problems or issues. And that's something that is very valued in the temporary um, world, business world. Not only business, but okay, we are talking about business instincts in this course. Uh, and you will, of course, have the possibility to look over the additional templates and videos how to write a business model canvas. But I'm sure that you will learn a lot from the webinar that we will have um, with Jose. What I would strongly suggest uh, for you is to really look through these resources. You can find some additional and uh, some more you can browse, you will really, if you write innovation, there is no uh, limit 
to your hits that you will get on your browser. Then you can write radical innovation. This is really something, or disruptive innovation. These are new, um, these are new approaches, let's say, new um, points of view, how to prepare, which innovation is actually working, which innovation has impact on business results, and how to be radical innovative, how to be disruptive innovative, not to disrupt your business in uh, that measure that you destroy it. So where is this thin line? You will learn that uh, as well in this course. The first week um, is, is only for you. So there is no teamwork, it's only individual. But please note that assignment number three is the basis for preparation of assignment of number five, which is a teamwork. It, it is a uh, team assignment. So um, let's take a look, um, a deeper look at the webinar. I've mentioned several times already today. Uh, it, Mr. Jose Antonio Morales, I met him at uh, Slovenian um, Financial Innovation Forum, and he actually impressed me a lot. He comes from Spain and is um, he is an innovator, of course. He is also a founder of co-working place called Aurora uh, in Slovenia, but he works not only in Slovenia, he works all over Europe on four different locations. And I'm sure that he will be able to present from firsthand his experiences, his experiences in coaching, mentoring of many startups, of many, uh, not only startups, but, but also of developed businesses and their leaders and managers. What he invented is also a concept uh, that he calls fail and fear, because we usually only talk about success stories. Uh, what he find, found out, and many, and some of other great minds as well, was that you can learn more from um, stories that went wrong, let's say like that, let's put it like that. So from, from stories that uh, taught us how to fail, how to overcome our fear of failure and fear of success as well. And he will talk about that. Uh, he will talk about uh, how to fail forward, how to fail fast, how to fail better. Um, he will present uh, some, you are already familiar with the, the Lean um, uh, project, Lean model, but he will add th additional value, a uh, fear. He believes that um, we can fail because we fear unintended and intended. So it's going to be interesting what kind of questions you will ask him. Uh, on Wednesday when we host him at 7 p.m. as today. Uh, in, in the context of Business Model Canvas, he will uh, shed some additional light in value proposition, which we see is quite a problem for many, many people to, do, to make a definition for concrete, uh, for concrete projects. So it's not a definition uh, in theoretical way that, that would cause problems to people. Uh, pupils, students, uh, startups, etc. But it's the uh, concretization of the um, of these um, different approaches. So value proposition, customer segments, revenue streams, and channels. These are four in my okay. I was just reading uh, Nina Turchin's. Um, comment. I can help with that. It's is no better. Or uh, so Danica says she can't see anything. Uh, EC says uh, I can see everything. Danica doesn't see anything. So Alexander, can you just check a bit what's happening with I don't know what else I can do. I have this check presentation view. Uh, nothing was better. I don't know what to do. So um, now it's even worse, I see. Okay, well, we'll wait for Alexander. I will. Alexander says, I see everything fine. So, uh, well, uh, this presentation will be available in your, on your platform. So uh, 
don't bother too much concentrate on what uh, I'm trying to convey to you what I'm trying to say and if you have a question you can always ask about something if you want to know more or if you didn't quite understand what I was explaining so this was about the webinar this webinar will be more content oriented so this one is more uh, introductory or introductory overview what we will be doing how it will be done etc and this one on Wednesday it, it's gonna be uh, concrete it's gonna be oh now something is something has changed now now I see really really a small portion of, of everything Okay, I will leave that now and hope. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, the f a few words about the first assignment. It's an individual assignment. Uh, it, your due date is September 9th. This is Saturday. Um, now it's even, now it's better. Ah, Jan, Jelena, hi. Uh, it works fine for her as well, so I don't know let's try let's 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 fill it through yeah okay so the first assignment is september 9th you will have to develop a business canvas model for the concept fail and fear uh, please use your knowledge and your um, work that you've done um, in the course from a sparkle to a flame uh, you will have the possibility to look closer to the templates or for example a business plan and of course how it, there is also a video how to prepare a business model you will get 10 percent of your final um, scores that is 10 points because 100 percent 100 points the assignment is not difficult if you will attend if you will go if you will browse through literature and if you will attend the webinar on wednesday so if there is a possibility for you to attend i strongly suggest that you do then the second assignment is also in this week it's also individual uh, its deadline is september the 10th it's quite simple you will only have to test your uh, mindset uh, if you are globally um, oriented uh, what is your thinking style and uh, or what is your leadership style you will take one of those three and then you will prepare a two pager that is approximately 6000 characters spaces are included please take a look at the results of the test or the quiz that you will take in light of course of the business canvas that you have prepared the day before developed for the fail and fear and then from this point of view please imagine that you are the manager or the leader or the project leader of this concept and then you assess your entrepreneurial skills so are you uh, an entrepreneur will you be able to conduct to uh, fulfill um, the project fail and fear or not what do you need then suggest the best possible leadership style or managerial style for this concept and the best strategy for the concept itself if you will have any questions regarding the assignments you will have the possibility to ask on the second webinar or uh, directly through email so or you can write you can ask of course Mina at any time then the third assignment is also individual it's not going to be scored in not in this week but it's uh, just to read through the material that you will have to prepare in the fifth week and then you will in 50 words uh, up to 50 words not more just summarize what this case fair and square is about so what what is it about what uh, it was the issue how they approach to solving this issue uh, what do you think about it that's it just 50 words uh, no for the assignment one do we um, Tony asks is asking for the assignment one do we create our own model or do we use the given templates on the LMS you use uh, the templates because there is the template of a business model canvas and you use that uh, you will get explained by Jose how to prepare the four major or four the most important um, parts of this business model canvas and then you will use it for the assignment number one okay good so the third assignment 
yeah, you're welcome. For the third assignment, you just write a paper up to 50 words, uh, how you felt about the case, what the case is actually about, and how to, um, so what was the problem, what was the issue. Uh, you will not get graded um, like with points, you will only get a status yes or no in the column for this assignment. And then there is already week two, yeah. In the second week, we will get a bit more creative. We will take a look at creative thinking and logical reasoning, social change and idea generation. Uh, you will apply this creative thinking uh, in different business situations, depending on the team you will be working in. So this week is uh, teamwork. It's all about teamwork, no more individual assignments, only, only two uh, teamworks that are quite, um, let's say, one is fun and the, the, the other one is a bit challenging, but I know you, are, you will be able to do it. Uh, so the, we will have another webinar, of course. We will host uh, Dr. PhD Alexandra Lobnik. She is an uh, entrepreneur. She's innovator. She was innovator of the year. Uh, she also has uh, her own company. She also lectures at the faculty, not this one, but another one. She travels all over the world. She works with um, um, uh, with these uh, little nanoparticles also in um, in Swiss. So she's really, she's a person that I really suggest and really uh, tell you to take advantage of, but not in a good way, of course, to ask questions, to be very noisy, to be uh, nosy, to be very curious, uh, let, really um, deep into her, no, uh, dive into her knowledge and really try to learn the most from her because she's, she's also a great speaker. And she is um, she's very open and very forthcoming, and I'm sure she will be able to answer all your questions regarding uh, whatever there is that you will be interested in. Uh, this will not be um, an usual webinar. It's going to be in form of interview. I will be asking questions, and she will be answering. And you have the opportunity to send me your questions if you like, of course. There is no need, it's not graded, it's not no additional points for, um, for the grade for this task. But if you are curious, if you would like to know more about how the process of innovation actually uh, should take place in a company or, uh, or if your idea is actually good enough to put it on the market, etc., you can really um, there and ask her through me. So this webinar will be on September 12th at the beginning of the week two at 7 p.m. as well. Uh, it will take approximately uh, 45 to 60 minutes, but if there will be more questions, we will of course prolong it as long as it takes, as long as, as your um, questions, as your, as your interests will be there. So don't worry about that. There is also some literature, not much, um, that you, I suggest that you study. I, of course, will not force you to, into anything, but I strongly suggest that you um, read through the literature and take a look at two videos. Uh, there is a TED Talk, Where Good Ideas Come From, which is also in form of a cartoon, uh, right next to this one. And then there is a, a porter, uh, you are probably familiar with him. Why business can be good at solving social problems. So in the week two, you have uh, first team assignments and the last um, for regarding my tasks and my expectations. Assignment four and assignment five, I apologize for this uh, mistake here. It's not 45, but number five. Uh, assignment four is teams critically uh, critically analyze and evaluate uh, the TED talk. You have uh, written real detailed questions, what and how and where to do it. So you will uh, you will prepare this work in a form of seminar work. So please do not state the question and then answer uh, answer it right away. Take a look at questions and then sum up 
in form of the seminar board. Yeah, maximum of twenty thousand uh, characters. Spaces are included. Um, I'm sure that you will have uh, quite a few issues uh, to preparing this uh, homework, and I'm also sure that probably your point of views will be different among your. Um, teams because you will be internationally put together and that's why this is going to be so interesting because a lot of a lot of um, of my point of view how i look how i perceive the world is based on my cultural uh, roots so i'm really looking forward to your results to your work and it's graded also with 20 percent 20 points because it's a demanding work and um yeah, it has to be accordingly uh, rewarded. Then the last assignment with me is the fifth one. Uh, the deadline to complete, oh, I'm sorry, the deadline to complete the fourth assignment is September 17th. And the last uh, the last assignment is September 18th. This one is fun, is a mind map. You, um, I'm sure you are very good familiar, already familiar with the mind mapping. Uh, but this time you will do mind mapping within your international teams and this is always fun and you will have the opportunity to observe how different countries, different cultures, different nationalities differently perceive the same, um, let's say, the same, uh, the same problem, the same issue. And I'm sure that you will be uh, quite um, astonished at the end of what you have created and i'm really looking forward to it uh, it's in the form of drawing of course mind the map uh, there's also a, a book on how to prepare it but i am sure that you are already very uh, acquainted with with this um, tool let's let's name it tool or method so you will have to find different possible solution for um, if you recall i've uh, pointed out at the beginning of our webinar that the assignment three is the basis for the assignment number five. And assignment three was only to describe what the what this project was all about, uh, what was the problem, what was the issue, how it was solved, and now you will find different possible solution for the problem presented in the case fair and square. Okay, you will also find arguments why the suggested solutions are true or false. So you will have to, oh, don't be afraid. It's a lot of fun. You just start doing it and you will have a lot of fun. You'll see. And you will also, you know, you, you always have the possibility to work very hard or to just fly through. This is not something, this work is not something that your life depends on. And so you always have a possibility to say, okay, this is too demanding for me right now. I'm not in the mood or I don't have time or I don't have the capacity or the skills or whatever at the, in the mo at the moment or time. But you can always return. You can download the material. You can play with it with your family because this material is created like that that you can do it within your teams at work or or in at home. You can do mind mapping even with your children or, okay, not with five or six year olds, but uh, with, um, let's say, 15, 16, and you will be surprised uh, what kinds of solutions do these children, uh, okay, the, the youth uh, does find. It, it's quite, uh, I'm always amazed at uh, what people prepare. So just just do it. I will help you. Don't don't get scared. Don't get afraid. You will. Oh, you will hear about this fail and fear concept from Jose. This, you know, like I'm also I'm afraid in uh, upfront. I don't even know how it's gonna be. I'm just cumulating uh, the fear within me, and then this fear goes into terrifying feeling, and uh, then in nausea, etc., etc. Don't do that. Just start, and then everything else will develop from itself, okay? Because the assignments are constructed like that. It's like a puzzle. You start with one piece, and then you add another, and then you add the third and fourth, and so forth, and so, so on. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. You'll see. You'll see. 
Okay, I know it was a joke, but I have to. In every joke, there is a slight piece of the truth, right? So I had to go uh, a bit further with, with this explanation. Uh, also, for mind mapping, you will get, you will receive uh, up to 20 points. So this was actually uh, everything that I was planning to tell you today. Uh, I, th I see that I was explaining everything very fast. It's um, there is another 15 minutes or so or 10 that you have uh, the possibility to ask questions uh, about everything you want to ask. There are some um, some links that you can um, browse through if you would like to get in touch with me in any in any other or this way. Please, uh, if you will try to uh, connect with me through social media, let me know that you are part of improvement. Because if I don't know people, I don't connect with them. Okay? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's about it for today. We will have another webinar in two days. The, this webinar with Jose Antonio Morales is going to be a bit more into content uh, on how to prepare a business model how to uh, set the value proposition, how to set the channels, uh, how to set the, the fear to work for us, not against us, yeah? which is very important for leaders, for managers, especially for entrepreneurs. Yes, now I'm, now I'm open for questions, if there are any. If not, there is also, uh, I think that at the beginning, uh, at the beginning, I wrote also my email. Yeah, I think I have. But yeah, here it is. Uh, you can contact me through uh, one of these emails for additional information or questions or, I don't know, let's say not regrets or like, um, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Uh, suggest me something more or uh, show me additional um, source for this or that. Do not hes hesitate. I will answer your questions shortly, especially if you will contact me on the first email. On the second one, uh, I do not have access all the time, only when I'm on the web. Um, so, yeah, if you prefer to receive an answer very, very quickly. I can't see the emails, please. Can you send it on email? Yeah, of course. Of course I can. Of course I can. It's I can write it also here, so everybody will be able to see them. So here it is. Here's the first one. Uh, I'm on this one. I'm like ten times per day at least. And there is the other one, the the improvement email. And this one is with my second family name. And I think that this part we all have the same. like this. Okay? Then it says that okay with you? Yeah. Great. So th this, I know that we have just started. We have just started. You don't really know what to ask me and how to ask me. You don't know what to expect. So please just surf through or browse through the literature, browse through the um, um, let's say the guidelines or how to prepare the assignments and then you will probably have some more concrete questions okay uh, and you also have like you are also already used to it uh, forums where you can put your questions and you can debate among yourselves um, sometimes colleagues have uh, really innovative solutions to existing problems so perhaps it's worth of asking them as well you are welcome, Dan. It's my pleasure. Okay. Are there any other questions, perhaps? You are welcome. How is it pronounced? E C E E C E or E C? How do I how do I pronounce your name? I'm sorry. A E. Okay. Etze. Etze. <laughs> I will learn that next time that you will have um, I C I Edge. Okay, then say Edge. Marina, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, 
Right. So, uh, if there are any other questions, that would be all for tonight. Uh, you, I, I think that you saw my email address also on the introductory uh, email that Dayan sent on, I think, on Friday or Thursday last week. And there is also my email. I'm in this. Uh, I was included in this communication. Uh, do, really, do not hesitate because uh, to ask me um, whatever there is that bothers you. Um, you know, some of you were with me already in the past, and you know what I say about assumption, right? Do you know or not? What is assumption? Do you know that already or not? Hmm? No? So, assumption is this. Do not assume, because if you assume, then you as me. Okay, so no assumptions, this was like fun, no assumptions, ask questions. And there is one really favorite um, sentence from a cult movie, um, it's, it goes like, uh, assumption is the mother of all, I can't say the word now, I will write it, yes, exactly. Nina, thank you very much. You filled it in. So do not assume. Ask questions. Be curious. Be like children. They can ask you. Everybody that has children or was around children knows exactly what I mean. Children ask you the same question 20 times or 50 times or 100 times until they understand it. Okay? Or the next day they can ask you the same questions and they will get another answer and they will get another picture and they will get another point of view and then they will ask another question, the same question. It always starts with the word why or how or what or what if. Okay? So these are quite good questions also for you in... Um, communication with me or with Mina. So don't hesitate. There are no stupid questions. Really, there aren't. Perhaps I will laugh at some because for me it would be so obvious. It would be so obvious. Okay, but this is assumption also from my side. So, okay, assumption is the mother of all tra-la-la -la, and you will put and ask questions all the time or not, whatever suits you better. But this is my recommendation. I truly hope that you will have a lot of fun during this class. Don't get nervous, don't get uh, too concerned about how to do it, where to do it, when to do it, what to do it, etc. Just read and start writing. It's gonna be just, it's gonna be okay, you know the, the, the song? It's gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm sure you know it, it's on the radio all the time. So it's gonna be okay, I know. I, am, I have faith in you. I have trust in you. Thank you very much for being with me tonight. It's, um, it was a true pleasure, and I really enjoyed it. I will enjoy it even more if you will have more questions <laughs> next time. So please be prepared. Be prepared. Ask doubt. Ask again and doubt again. Okay? Danica, it was my pleasure. Edge is typing something. Have a good night. Thank you for the presentation. It was my pleasure, Edge. Now I know your name, how to pronounce it. So um, I really thank Nina for, or Danica for explaining it to me. Yes. So that's all for tonight. See you on Wednesday at 7 p.m. And you, ha you can... Um, um, ask some questions uh, up front as well. You can send them via email or whatever you prefer. Have a good night and um, stay tuned. Bye.